Yeah, strip club taking over the uh, Dallas scene right now. Like, uh, I'm not really a club person, but I love the strip clubs in Dallas. Do you have a favorite strip club in Dallas? Uh, yes, I do. And it's uh, DGs. Why DGs? Because they embraced me when I first, my first time in a club uh, as a rapper, uh, it's just like they, like all the strippers, it wasn't about, because when I first came out, nigga ain't had no money, you know what I'm saying? So like, when I first came out, it wasn't about like, damn, is that nigga, he a rapper, is he gonna, he gonna come in here and fuck up a chick or what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Now they was really on some shit like, bro, we fuck with your music, we feel what you going through, like I'm going through the same shit right now, I'm in here trying to get to the money like you trying to get to the money, like, so I dance to your shit, like, so like, that whole club, it wasn't just one stripper, it was a, Few of them, like half the goddamn strip club, was like embraced that whole Mo3 movement as, as far as like feeling the struggle, what a nigga was saying. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, I fell in love with that whole scenery, like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. Somebody that's never been to Dallas before, uh, never been to DGs, uh, I need a little bit better of a description. Uh, different cities have different ordinances when it comes to the women in the strip club. So is this particular strip club, is it full nude? Is it just topless? How are the women in there? It ain't full nude. It ain't full nude. Not full nude. No, it ain't full nude. Because different you cities... You see some titties. You see some titties. They might flash a little something, something for you, but it ain't just full nude walking around that bitch. Again, different cities have different yeah. rules and Not different, for different ordinances. I don't um, like the I don't like the full naked shit anyway. I don't like to see it just just naked. I like to I like to see it with some clothes on, but not with some clothes. On. You know what I'm saying? You like a little mystery. Yeah, like ah damn, like you just <laughs> bitch just naked, just walk up on you like bitch. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't been to some strip club where them hoes just in there just naked. Like fuck it. So it's like yeah, it ain't even exciting. Like like y'all don't hurt naked. Like, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, it, a bitch in DGs, you know, she might have on a, a bad ass swimsuit, you know, that you know that ain't just, it's just different. So you get what I'm saying? Like, she ain't gotta take that bitch all the way off, you know, to make a nigga fuck up a chick, you know what I'm saying? So, but that's like every other strip club too, like, you know. Now, which of all the strip clubs, and I don't know if DGs is for this answer or not, but which of the strip clubs in Dallas has the best women, in your opinion? V Live, Ecstasy, and KLD. And what type of flavor of women are in those establishments? Really, Ecstasy, cause they just di it's different all type of you know you got you got some real foreign bitches in there, man. So you know you got you got Hispanic, you got Honduran, you got black, you got mixed black and white. You get what I'm saying? Then the same thing, you know, V Live, they coming from everywhere. You know, you got your yellows, you got your dark skins, you got your red bones, you know, so it's like, KLD just got some old big boot ass bitches, just everybody to add to fat. So, you know, I now, love all the women. <laughs> next question, when it comes to the strip clubs in Dallas, and again, I don't know uh, what your answer for this one's gonna be, but which establishment has the best food? Which strip club has the best food in Dallas? Villa. V Live. What do you usually order? The fish basket. Catfish basket. Yep. Now, what about liquor? I don't drink. Okay, you don't drink. But I can't <laughs> tell you nothing about liquor. Okay. I can't tell you nothing about blunts, pills, <laughs> pills, mollies, none of that, man. I ain't into that. Because, again, just for people watching this, some uh, cities have different ordinances. Some you can... You know, women are full nude and you can drink some. You topless and you can drink some. You can't drink and they're full nude. I really can't lie to you. I really like. I really don't know because I don't even be paying attention to who drinking what. I don't care nothing about that. I get a soda every time I go. What about when it comes to breaking records? Mm -hmm. Are records still getting broken in the Dallas strip clubs? Some of them depend on the DJ. But all in all, like nah, I ain't not breaking records. They used to? Yeah, back yeah, back then, like, he yeah, like, you know, Dallas was known for, you know, they gonna break that record, you know. The era of 
of dance and music back then was so heavy. It was like you had no choice but to play this shit. Like, you get what I'm saying? And that was with every DJ, like, they gonna play this shit. Like, now it's just, they just go with the flow. They play your shit, they play your shit, they don't, they don't. What do you think changed? Why do you think it's different? I think the generation changed and the, the, the hip hop, and matter of fact, the whole hip hop wave changed. So, you know, when, once a whole hip hop wave changed, you know, that shit touched the world. So it don't just be my city, that shit be everywhere. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, once that shit changed, it's like, it changed everybody hustle and motivation. Like, you know, music touch you, it make you do something. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, like, in my city, it was like, they had to be that direct DJ that feel like they fuck with you to play your shit. But right now, if we don't fuck with you or we ain't play, we not playing your shit, we gotta play this shit that the world is listening to. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's what we on. We own this shit. Everybody here on this shit. This is what motivating us. This shit that the world is on. But we'll play your shit, you know, we fuck with you, you know, shit like that. But is it mandatory right now? Everybody on one accord playing somebody in the city? No, it's not. You know. But shout out to the DJs that, you know, do break artists, you know. I gotta give a shout out to motherfucking Chris Cole on goddamn the radio street swag Sunday. Like he he break he he not even in the club, you get what I'm saying? But he makes sure that it's a special day on the radio to break an artist from the city. So, you know. And shout out to the DJs in the club and the MCs that do break their artists, you know what I'm saying? You know. But it ain't just mandatory in the city like that. 